have our black and white on this yes, Friday. The Indy 500 <laughs> will bring tens of thousands of fans from around the world here on race day. But on most weekends around our area, car aficionados get together to show off and show up. Yeah, WRTV's Brad Brown found a spot at the crossroads of caffeine and carburetors. Okay, so the coffee is in fact delicious, but it's on the back side of the ampersand. Check out the cars. To only call it a car show would leave out a lot of what makes cars and coffee a big part of motorsports culture. You have such a wide variety of people that come out for this, but the common thing they have is the love for automotive. Yeah, love for cars, love for racing. I mean, around here, obviously, we get a lot of racing folks, which is always great. Um, but yeah, we try to make this, you know, fun for, for, for all people. Uh, you know, whether you're a, a gearhead when it's car-centric, motorcycles, doesn't matter. We want the culture to, to thrive here in Indy. Graham Rahal hosts a monthly cars and coffee event at his Graham Rahal Performance Shop in Brownsburg. On the first Saturday of the month, hundreds of vehicles and thousands of admirers come from all over the area. And the drive-in is an event all on its own. Here, where there's such a wide variety, whether it's the hot rodders, whether it's classic car, muscle car guys, whether it's the new, you know, high-end sports cars, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, it's all there. In its essence, Cars and Coffee is a chance to hang out. Fans among fans, collectors, constructors, tuners, racers. If it has four wheels and a motor, it has a place here. How about two wheels and a little flash? Well, that's just fine, too. People are not going to see this sort of thing every day. Uh, sometimes we bring cars out from the racing side. We may have the McLaren F1 GTR that we have at the BMW Classic facility or something like that. Around one corner, you might find something straight out of the barn, perhaps an American classic or a fresh imported Redliner. And on the right weekend, you just might see a trio of multi-million dollar supercars sitting side by side. You know, we try to always have a little surprise uh, for people to feast their eyes on and stuff they're not going to see every day. It's a morning that brings generations together, young gearheads in the making getting to see their dream cars all up close. And the old timers telling the stories about the rides of their past. You know, we need to keep the car community alive and well. You know, there's, it certainly is changing, uh, you know, what we're going to see in the next 10 years in the automobile, but we should always celebrate what we currently have and what's in the past. We want to make this uh, family environment uh, and something that draws people in and the next generation to fall in love with cars like I did. What a cool event. Ray Hall's next Cars and Coffee in Brownsburg will be June 24th. Hey, you and our producer Brittany should grab the mocha and the moss <laughs> doesn't go out there. We should. <laughs> also, there are monthly events at the IMS Museum and many others around the area. And make sure you join us on a race day for breakfast at the Brickyard. WRTV will bring you the sights and sounds of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway from 6 a.m. to 7.30. Then check out the Monaco Grand Prix right here on ABC. And we will join you live once again for brunch at the Brickyard. That's from 11 a.m. to noon as race fans and drivers get ready for the green flag. I am getting excited. I'm going to head out there this weekend for qualifications. And Kevin, you're telling me weather's going to be... It'll be nice. Yes. yes. Okay. And, uh, wait till you see next week. <laughs> Look what I have behind us. So what is it? That's hey. how detailed we can zoom in with the radar. Look at I, that. I love this. You see the entire uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. If you've never been there before, and I'm assuming if you're watching me, you have. But just if you show up in the first turn and you find out you're supposed to be in the fourth turn, that's a mile and a half of walking. Uh, oh. So you learn real quickly. Other interesting thing, there are named streets within the track. There's 6th Street. Uh, there's Shaw Boulevard, Holman Boulevard. There's a lot going on inside there. Oh.